we are the Kransky sisters from Esk in Queensland. And uh, this is my sister Eve. I'm Morn Kransky. And this is our sister Dawn Kransky. Dawn, she uh, uh, lives over in Mrs. Evermore's laundry in the house over the back fence, doesn't live with Eve and I. We live in uh, the town of Esk, a very nice place to live. Has anyone been to Esk here? It's nice, isn't it? It's a lovely place, yes. And uh, it, we've uh, really, really uh, have had a nice time. We drove all the way down here in our Morris Major. It's a uh, Morris Major 1958, and our father used it for his sales trips with the Asbestos Cookware Company. <laughs> It's uh, lovely. And, well, we've had the pleasure today and uh, yesterday of looking at the exhibition. What a lovely one it is. I mean, so, so talented, all these people. And uh, there's so many interesting pictures to see, aren't there? And uh, there was all sorts of nice ones, weren't there? I love the, the, the one with the sausages. Was the, hanging sausages was nice, too, wasn't it? Yes, and the other. I said the red tide. Let's play a little game. Does anyone here remember uh, what the person with the red tie had in his hands, what instrument he was playing? Anyone? A yes, yes, a banjo. You've certainly gone there, haven't you? You've seen it. What's the other one we can say? What's another little game we can play? That's right. The I know what it is. The tattooed man. What? Here's, here's one for you. What, uh, what uh, is pictured on the left shoulder blade of the tattooed man? <laughs> Anyone? Huh? A flower? No, there's a lot of those, though. Anything else? It's on the left shoulder blade. Over there. Sorry? The Opera House. Yes, the Sydney Opera House. Of course, yes. That's right. And there's not one last one. What shall we do? I know. With the man in the, in the bathtub, what was he holding in his hand? He was in the nude. Hmm? He was in the nude, yes. What was he holding in his hand? A scrubbing brush. That's right, yes. Andrew Upton, that's a good one. Andrew Upton. Uh, how does Andrew Upton get around at night? In a boat. Yes, heavens, all of you have seen the paintings, haven't you? You've done your homework. That's lovely. Well, you know, we grew up, of course, with a lot of arts and crafts. I can't really see the people over there. That's right. There, yes, that's all right. Uh, no, that's okay. It doesn't matter. He was getting back. Yes, that, no, that's better. Yes, hello. Couldn't see you. Mm. Yes, we've got. Uh, we we grew up with a lot of arts and crafts. Our mother, in fact, liked to paint portraits and and things herself. And she used to do uh, charcoal drawings. Uh, of uh, we lived next to a cemetery, and she used to go over there and do charcoal drawings. She'd gather the charcoal from the fireplace, and sometimes treated the paper with a bit of Worcestershire sauce to make it a nice tone beforehand, and dried it out on the on the on, on the clothesline. But she'd go there and paint paint the portraits uh, of the mourners around the coffins at the uh, funerals, and of course then she sent Eve and I off to sell them at the wakes. It was. Uh, Quite an interesting thing, you know, we used to like going to the wakes, so they gave us three devils on horseback. There was always an abundance of those at the wakes. Yes, they were nice, yes. And uh, one of the men we sold a painting to, though, complained the next time we saw him at another wake, uh, and uh, they told us that they brought in the ants, the picture, which was such a shame, but never mind. And we've also got a lovely portrait our mother painted of us. Uh, it's Eve and I, we're pictured. Uh, with ourselves in the grass, uh, down the back in the field by the rabbit traps. Uh, even I had chores to do as children, and one of them was to go and check the rabbit traps and, uh, and bleed the rabbits for the black pudding. And uh, this particular day, we found the rabbits alive, let them go, and bled our fingertips into a bucket instead. But we fainted, and uh, Mother found us, and she painted us before slapping us awake with the paintbrush. <laughs> Uh, we're going to sing you a little song as one of our mother's favourites. <laughs> Crack that whip, give the past the slip, step on a crack, break your mother's back. When a problem comes along, it. Cream sits out too long, you must whip it. Something's going wrong, you must whip it. Now 
whip it into shape shape it up get straight go forward move ahead try to detect it it's not too late to whip it whip it good when a good time turns around you it. You will never live it down unless you whip it. No one gets away until they whip it. I say whip it, whip it good. I say whip it, whip it good. Crack that whip. Give the pass the slip. Step on a crack. Break your mother's back. When a problem to shape, shape it up, get straight, go forward, move ahead, try to detect it, it's not too late to whip it. Thank you very much. You know, but, uh, if you ever, you know, find yourself coming up to Esk, please come and visit us. You know, it'd be nice to see you all. And, uh, you know, we've got a lovely antique shop you might like in Esk that has a lovely lot of portrait paintings and all sorts of other things there uh, to look at. And uh, we've also got an RSL. And, in fact, it was in this very RSL that uh, Eve and I saw our very first portrait painting. It was a magnificent painting of Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> Our mother used to take us down to the RSL club and make us sit in front of the painting for quite some time, and while she went off and ate her counter lunch and visited the, uh, the old uh, fruit machines. But uh, we used to sit there for quite some time, didn't we? We liked the kind expression the Queen had. It sort of somewhat comforted us while we were missing our mother. You know. <laughs> Our mother used the queen as a fine example of what a, a lady, how a lady should behave. You know, we were to talk like the queen, to walk like the queen, and to always, of course, use a fork like the queen. <laughs> and uh, the queen, of course, also wore a lot of nice makeup, if you haven't noticed, always did, didn't she? And uh, you know, because of course, uh, a, a paint, uh, you know, brush strokes do sort of finish off the portrait, don't they? And uh, we've always liked to wear makeup. Our mother always told us we had to wear makeup to make us pretty. And uh, we look at the magazines where we get very good ideas for our makeup. And uh, I think I like to copy Joan Collins. <laughs> and uh, Eve always copies Elizabeth Taylor. And Dawn, just especially for today, has copied the painting, uh, the, the makeup in the picture, the portrait of Tim Minchin. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Except she's wearing shoes. That's right, yes. Uncouth, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, you know, sometime uh, after our uh, mother left with Dawn's father, we, uh... <laughs> yes. The two brothers never spoke again. We, uh, we always um, uh, used to go down to the RSL and always take a visit to the Queen a couple of times a week. And uh, there was one time there where we became very sick, Eve and I, and uh, got a bad case of the mumps and ended up having to... We were bedridden for quite some time. So we told Dawn to go down in a balaclava to the RSL and uh, bring the Queen home for a visit, <laughs> which she did, and we still have her with us. Uh, she's never left our side. It's a portrait is a very friendly thing to have, isn't it? I mean, they're full of interesting people. And uh, that's why we kept it. And we've got it with us right now, and we'd like to show it to you. That's it. Yes. And uh, a portrait, though, isn't it? It's, it's like one of the family, isn't it? When you have it in a house, you know, it becomes like one of your family. And this portrait of the Queen and uh, the Queen herself has certainly become one of our family, hasn't she? And, uh, of course, I mean, how could you not see how comforting she is? You know, the Queen. 
And in fact, we have another portrait um, of the Queen, uh, a picture of her, otherwise. And, and when she was very young, uh, we've got her, we bought it for $2.50 at a, at a, a junk sale, and uh, it has pictured her with one of the royal horses. And that's her as a child. Yes. It's very nice. And uh, another portrait, of course, we'll have to show our prize portrait. We have another portrait that uh, we actually acquired at our neighbor's garage sale. Uh, it's a trash and treasure there. So she, she had it uh, that was given to her by her grandfather, who had had it from his, uh, his niece. And the niece had, given, had got it from her uncle, who had had it from the aunt. And she'd had it for about two years before the grandfather had died. And then uh, the, the sister-in-law had given it to her before that, and the child had, had trodden on it, but then had fixed it. And uh, it's got a bit warped, but then he'd given it to his grandfather, and then it had been passed on for quite some time through the generations. And then it ended up at Mrs. Boyle's place next door, for two dollars fifty, again, and uh, and there we had it. But now, what we do with it is we have it sitting between our two beds. Even I sleep in a sing two single beds divided by a shared duchess, uh, and uh, above the duchess sits the painting, and that's it. We don't know who it is, <laughs> but uh, it's very nice, isn't it? It certainly uh, keeps us interested. Yes, take it away. <laughs> Just be careful with it. Yes. Yes, and uh, we've got another. You got, did you bring the other pe pieces, Eve? Yes, yes. Uh, there's one that I did. Uh, it's a little uh, one with a little... Uh, it's a tapestry painting I did, and it's got a little bee. It took me five years. <laughs> but uh, that's the one, and I'm very proud of it. And, uh, oh, of course, we've also got some lovely egg warmers that Eve has knitted... Uh, with our faces on them, our portraits on them. And uh, there they are. We might have to hold them up one, two, three, I guess. One each, shall we? Give Dawn one as well. That's Dawn's with the glasses. And that's it there. Held it up from the bottom in. The bottom. That's those. Yes. Very nice, aren't they? Portraits are so uh, interesting, aren't they? Because, they, you know, they're all sorts of... Uh, you know, the good thing about a portrait is, you know, it'll be here long after you're gone, won't it? <laughs> you know, someone else is going to get this little egg warmer and warm their egg with it. I wonder who the hell it is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a little treat to have something that lasts, uh, outlasts you, and certain, certainly portraits have that wonderful magic about them, don't they? You know, they're a very... Uh, a very interesting thing, and uh, of course, it's very good to, to survive like a portrait. It's not the same for us human beings, but we're still breathing, aren't we? And it's so nice to be able to come and uh, come and see the things at the gallery and have some, uh, you know, to, to keep alive, isn't it? It's good to, to keep alive. Perhaps uh, we have a song about us uh, about this very theme, and perhaps we should do do our song, shall we? Portraits do keep people alive. Yes, yes. Yes, we'll have that back, thank you. <laughs> There's no eggs for you tomorrow. Well, we'll do that song. When the feeling's gone and you can't go on, it's a tragedy. When the 
the morning cries and you don't know why it's hard to bear with no one to love you you're going nowhere tragedy when the feeling's gone and you can't tragedy when the morning cries and you don't hard to bear when no to have stayed alive, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing like it, is there? <laughs> well, you know, we would like to make a very nice little competition now. Let's call it the After Hours Foyer Prize, shall we? That can be won. Now, we're going to look for a little volunteer, shall we? You seem some volunteers. Yes? Mm? Go and get a volunteer. Three volunteers. Three volunteers and another volunteer. That's what we're going to do there. Because all what we, uh, why we're doing this is because, well, we have another sister, Ava, who works with the Hornbell Military Marching Band and doesn't come home because she's off travelling the world. And uh, we've always wanted to get a, a portrait with Ava in it. And so we decided that we'd actually uh, get, uh, get one um, and uh, we'd like you to actually help us, all right? So we're going to find another volunteer. Eve's going to give, yes, that's right. Dawn could have given that up, so it doesn't matter. We thought she was going to go on there, yes. There you go, and take some pens. We're going to give you pens. All right, there you go. Just, that's right, Eve, you should be picking. Eve, go and get the other part, that's right. Yes, give that lady one. Right, all right. Now, quickly find a volunteer. That's right. I tell you what, it's very easy to get all taken away by the beautiful fashions everyone's wearing here. Who are those shoes over there? I didn't know cows came in that colour. <laughs> oh, very nice. You get the chair for us, Dawn. Yes, another chair over there. That's a good idea. Get the chair. Now bring it up. Put it on there. Yes. Hello, what's your name? Ross. 
Welcome to the stage, Ross. It's nice to have him here, isn't it? You've got nice coloured pants on too, is not you? You all right there? Dear, oh dear, you're always doing that at home too. You've broken everything. There we go. Now what we're going to do, Ross, is just pop this on you. So you can be our fourth sister. All right? And what we're going to get the lovely people here to do, with their two pens, their black and red, is to actually draw us together while we do our piece of a song, all right? So we're going to do the song, and we want you to quickly draw us all in the time you get for the song, all right? And then we're going to judge the pride. The, the, don't start yet. No starting yet. No, everyone keep on to those people with the canvases. You make sure they don't cheat. All right. There we go. Pop that on. Stand up there forward, then. Just, just, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Just, that's nice, just. Do you come from Sydney? That's nice, oh, very. Whereabouts in Sydney do you live? Where? Ride. You're nice, aren't you? You're some ride. That's nice. Here you go, Ross. That's lovely. All right, Ross, now what we're going to do is sit you down there in the chair, all right, and we're going to give you um, a, a triangle, all right? Rost, you have a triangle, all right? Now, is everyone ready with the canvases? You ready there, lovely? You happy to, is everyone happy to do the drawings? Yes, they have the three canvases going? Ready. All right, now you're ready. You're going to play along with us, Jost, and just look forward at the lovely people while the people paint us, and then we've got our fourth sister. That's lovely, all right. Are we ready to go? Yes? Gonna fight my baby, gonna hold her time Gonna grab some of the new midnight Models always be when it's right, it's right While we in the middle of a cold dark night When everything's a little brighter in the light of day And you're not the night as someone's gonna be here anyway Speaking of this, working up an appetite Before we do it, it's not the new midnight Drop the six of them that makes us talk at night And the thought of all the new is getting so excited Now you can have a couple more minutes while we uh, uh, undress. Uh, don't don't do him undress there, Jost. Uh, thank you so much, Jost. He was fantastic, wasn't he? Get it off him quickly. Get it off him quickly. Quickly, get it off him. Get it off him. To disinfect it when I get up. <laughs> they have a secret ingredient, testosterone, and they toss around. <laughs> Thank you so much to Yost. You stand there with us, though, Yost, for the judging, all right? Stay there for the judging. Just wait a minute. Right, has everyone got their paintings? We'd like them now. Thank you. Doesn't matter if you haven't finished. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, dear, that's fantastic. Here's one for you. My goodness. You can turn it around. Uh, the third one. Oh, ladies, thank you, dear. Josh can give it over. What do you look like, Josh? You proud of yourself there? All right, there they are, everyone. <laughs> Turn them around there. Hey, fantastic. All right. Now we're going to have a little clapometer. All right. Heavens, aren't they lovely? I want to see them myself. Have a look. Aren't they fantastic? Oh, impressionist. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Heavens, how beautiful. Did a damn good job. These people are certainly educated on the I wonder they're front seaters. There you go. All right, ready. Here we go. I'm going to hold mine up and let's get the claps. <laughs> right, yours now. <laughs> uh, 
And the third one. Well, they're certainly a clo very close, isn't it? But I think perhaps this one has won, don't you think? Yes. Thank you very much. Whose was that one? Was that yours? Very good. Stand up and face the people. <laughs> Thank you. Well, certainly all of them are very, very good, that's for sure. But they're very, very talented, aren't they? All these people that have done these wonderful paintings. Now, where did Jost go? Jost, come here. You are, I said, wait. You typical, don't listen, don't they? Um, you have a lady friend, Jost? You haven't been doing your job. <laughs> Tell him what to do. All right. Yes. Come and collect your prize. <laughs> this is our tea towel. <laughs> Only joking. Thank you so much. So, so talented. And to Jost, this is your prize. Thank you so much for being a part with us. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, we have to... The divorce papers will be sent tomorrow, I'm sure. Lost. <laughs> now, of course, we can't go without giving our lovely other artists something because you have done a fabulous job and we love them so much and we'll treasure these paintings very much. Thank you so much. And here's uh, uh, something for you both. Come forward and uh, there's a little gift for you. It's a portrait uh, uh, magnet of ours. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so very much. It was uh, very close, it was, because all of the paintings were very, very similarly good, that's for sure. Wonderful. I love the end of Yost, isn't it good? It's beautiful. It's lovely. Thank you so much. Very good. Well, thank you so much for having us here. It's been such, such a pleasure to be here and meet you all. It's been wonderful. And, uh, you know, in, in the words of, of Archibald, Mr. Archibald, uh, of course, you know, every man can, paint a, uh, to, can, can uh, write at least one good book, and of course, every man can paint at least one good painting, and every one of us, of course, has, has got one good story, and we must never forget that, of course, and uh, we're, we're going to be very happy, pig in mud tonight yes. with our paintings, and thank you we're so very you much. Yes, we're here next weekend on Friday and Saturday at the uh, NIDA's theatre, the Parade Theatre at NIDA. And uh, it'd be lovely if you can come along or tell your friends. And, uh, the, Sydney the Sydney Comedy Festival, yes. Well, thank you so much. You've been absolutely delightful. And we're so, so glad we were invited here by the lovely people who work here. Thank you.